Hey everyone, just thinking about terminology related to real estate and wanted to discuss loan to value today. Loan to value is a metric that you use that's a ratio compared to the total loan amount that you get compared to the value of the property or the purchase price. And so loan to value basically becomes a metric that lenders use to determine how much of a loan they will give you against the property and therefore how much equity you need to bring to the table. So if you have a property that is worth $10 million and a lender has a 70% loan to value ratio as their maximum ratio, the maximum loan amount that you can get is $7 million. And in a lot of cases, you have some lenders that will lend up to 80%, they'll lend 75%, 70%. You have some lenders that prefer to be down in the 50% range. And effectively what it does is a lower loan to value for you, gives you more of a cushion so that if anything happens with the value of the property or anything happens with the cash flow, you generally have more cushion and less risk of having a default or having any sort of foreclosure action brought against you. The higher the LTV, the smaller cushion that you have in, in the event that property prices drop at some point. So anyway, we just wanted to talk a little bit about loan to value. I know most of you know the term loan to value, and but it is an important one, both for you and also for the lenders in evaluating how big of a loan that they're gonna be comfortable giving you on your property. And that's not the only metric that lenders use. And they're also looking at debt service coverage and debt yield, which we'll cover in some future videos. Thanks so much, talk to you soon.